Good evening, everybody. Um, just thought I'd do a little kitchen tour today because I got pretty well stocked up. So, yeah, I'll try and keep it quick. Um, I'll start with what I got in the pot that I cooked up last night. Just It's just been sitting out. My house is like freezing cold, so I don't even have to refrigerate stuff if I'm only leaving it out for a day. So that's what I got on the pot. It's just like a rice blend with lentils. Um, it's got like wild rice and stuff in it. Um, yeah, and I added the lentils and that's some uh, kale in there. So, you know, simple. Sim that's, uh, you know, that's what your meals are going to look like when you're eating a healthy vegan diet, honestly. Just like, uh, you know, a starch-based diet is kind of... Well, the e easiest way to get all your nutrients in and stuff. You can do, like, fruit, you can do raw. Um, you know, you can do, like, I, I was doing, like, a cooked fruitarian diet where I was eating lots of squashes and uh, zucchinis and stuff. You can do any, any style of vegan you want, but a starch-based diet, doesn't matter what you're doing. That's, uh, you know, medically proven, just really, like, the easiest way to do a vegan diet. And so if you can digest, like, starch really easily, um, you should have no problem just thriving on a starch-based diet. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing lately. I've also been including lots of prunes, because that helps me be more flexible with my diet. Prunes just help m keep things moving along. So uh, these are definitely the best prunes available in the grocery stores of America today. They're an ancient food. Don't be afraid of them. They're, they're healthy. They've literally been around since ancient Egypt. So prunes are good and uh, yeah, they just, they make my life a lot easier because I don't have to be worried about like eating cleansing foods 24-7. Um, I don't have to eat like a fruitarian diet as long as I eat like, you know, my daily serving of prunes, you know. I can pretty much eat whatever else I want and not worry about getting constipated. Which is like, uh, just, you know, for me, like a disproportionately big problem. Most people don't have like, uh, you know, bowels that are as damaged as mine. So, that's just me. If you don't like prunes, you don't have to eat them. Um, but they're one of my favorite foods lately. They taste really good. Um, they, they taste like really good. So, yeah, what else do we have in here? Yeah, cans of tomatoes. This is something I always, always, always have on hand. There's just one ingredient, tomatoes, in a can. Got a little green tea there. I don't really ever eat green tea. But, uh, you know, it's you know just in case I want to have some, it's there. Or uh, if I, I have a guest over, my house is so cold. Friggin' people like to drink hot tea while they're here. So let's get to the fun stuff. I got a couple sweet potatoes there, as you can see. A couple bags of organic red potatoes. Red skin's my favorite. Eat whatever you, kind you want. Got some more organic potatoes. Got some more sweet potatoes. I always buy, when I buy white potatoes, I always get the organic ones. Because they're supposed to be like really bad, um, high in pesticides. However, sweet potatoes are very low in pesticides. So I get conventional sweet potatoes. And these ones, if you live in uh, New Hampshire, you live around here, get the Trader Joe's sweet potatoes conventional in the bag. They're, uh, they're the only really good quality sweet potato you can find around here at the moment. And it sucks, but, uh, you know, the more money we put into real healthy foods, especially the good quality ones, the more of that good quality food we'll see on the market. You vote with your dollar, and it really does work like that. So, I mean, change in the world isn't as simple as just buying better products, but it, it, all, it makes a big impact. What you, what you do. So, yeah, that whole this whole bag is full of sweet potatoes. Got another bag completely full of sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's. Yeah, yeah like I was saying, support um, the foods that you want to see more of in the grocery store. So, these are the best quality freaking vegetable. Mo you, you can't find more nutrients in a single food than a sweet potato. The, the most nutrient dense. You, you can live off nothing, nothing but sweet potatoes for like years at a time and you'll have great health. You might you might overcome health problems doing that diet. You probably will actually. Okay. So that's my little secret pantry. I've got some like this crap that somebody gave me from the food pantry. It's just pumpkin in a can. It's one ingredient, but it's gross. It's just bitter. It's like I don't know how they could make something that tastes perfectly good taste bad. I, I just don't know how they're able to do that. So I got that stuff just in case, like, the apocalypse comes and we're starving. 
Got cans of pumpkin. Got more more of that shit here. Just food pantry stuff. One of our old roommates left a soy protein powder. <laughs> we got some baby food. That's really good. Um, it's all from the food pantry. It's just pears, pears and cinnamon with oatmeal. You know, good stuff. Dried figs are one of my favorite foods. These are organic. Um, if you live in New Hampshire, the market baskets usually have these for like 250 for uh, it's about 700 calories of organic dried figs, and these are like really good. Um, so they're a good staple. They're they got like tons of calcium. Like, not that you need that much calcium on when you're on a vegan diet because it's so low acid. You actually need a lot less calcium. Uh, and, and that's true, but those figs have a ton of calcium. Um, but I, I just like them. They're like gelatinous and they're very cleansing, and uh, they just taste so good. They're really good tasting. Um, uh, over here, I got a couple special little treats that I got. I got this coconut vinegar with coconut syrup. So that that's something that's fun to have, um, but it's a little more expensive. Avocado. That's kind of a treat for me. This is like a really ripe avocado, but you know, just one of them. Because I don't, like, base my diet on avocados. I like the carbs better. Better for digestion and energy and just feeling clean. These, more Turkish figs. See how I put these off to the side. These are really good Turkish figs, but they're expensive. Sometimes you just gotta spend the extra money to get some high quality friggin' produce. These are, I haven't actually tasted this batch, but this company, Aurora, puts out some really nice... Uh, organic figs, so yeah, but I, I think uh, you know dried figs should be a mainstay in your diet. They they go great in smoothies. They're just great. Um, okay, just a couple more things in here. I got my dates. Got uh, these are pound one pound bat uh, boxes of dates. So I got around five pounds of those. I always have dates. I you know Daterade. If you have, if you don't watch my videos. Um, you wouldn't know, but I, I, uh, if you do much, watch my videos, you, you wouldn't know. I love making smoothies just based on dates. You soak the dates overnight, and, um, even soak them for two days, it makes it even better. You blend it on high with a lot of water, and you just get a great smoothie. You can add, like, whatever you want to it, but I like to just drink it straight. Dates and water, they call it Daterade. It's awesome. Uh, more canned tomatoes there. Just, uh, you know, it's like a tomato sauce. Um, chia seeds, that's, I don't know, that's kind of an impulse buy. But they're healthy, um, good for you. Uh, I prefer chia seeds and smoothies over anything. Chia, chia seeds go great in smoothies, and they give it, uh, they give it this really cool gelatinous texture in it. It's supposed to uh, be really good for cleansing your internal organs. And uh, I believe it, you know, it's not like a, I don't think it's one of those fairy tale things. Here I got some YY, YY. Uh, these are just rice noodles. Two ingredients, ri white rice and water. And uh, these cook in about 30 seconds. I got these at Market Basket as well. Um, but I found them at the one in Stratum. I can't find them anywhere else. So that's another one that I'm looking, uh, I try to uh, support with my dollar keep these things in the stores you know we could lose this and next thing you know all we got is a processed like uh, ramen noodles that don't even cook as fast and they're full of like bullshit so these are just uh, they're not like super healthy or anything but they're carbs when you need it and so I'll come home and like boil some water boom by the time the water is done boiling they're, they're already cooked and they're like dirt cheap so they cost like virtually nothing so uh yeah, if you can find some of those rice noodles, I highly recommend them. They're the instant rice noodles. They're awesome. Okay, organic green lentils, organic brown rice. See the portion here? I got about, I got probably even more lentils than I do rice. But uh, that's a lot. You know, that stuff expands when it's cooked, so that'll, that'll be, uh, I don't know, that'll get me through the week probably. Uh, j that's like a week's worth of dinner at least, I think. Or like a five day week worth of dinners. Minimum for the rice and lentils. You know, gotta have them. Gotta have them. I got some weird like, you know, funky grains back there. It's always good to have some different starches, but you know, starch up. 
flax seeds. Um, this thing costs like six bucks and it'll last you a long time. It's like five, I don't even know, it might even be less than five bucks for a big thing of flax seeds. Include a tablespoon of flax seeds in your diet every single day. You can put them on anything. You put them in your smoothie, just sprinkle it on the rice that you're having or your pasta, whatever. Just throw it in, it doesn't even matter. They Flaxseed, just, it's ground flaxseed meal. You gotta include those in your diet. They got way too many beneficial properties and uh, nutrients and um, yeah, they're, they're just, they're important. It's, it's good to have those every single day, just a little bit. Um, the, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll stop saying it. But it's true, have them every day. Got the blender. Over here I got the butternut and a pineapple. Got my crock pot. I got another crock pot upstairs. And uh, that's my kitchen. So yeah, I'm going to dig into my yum delicious uh, rice and kale and beans. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty simple. Like I uh, that's this isn't always what my um, kitchen looks like. Like I always got different stuff, but I just thought this would be a good time to do it cuz this is basic stuff that I got and I'm pretty well stocked up on it right now. Um, the sweet potatoes, the rice and beans, the prunes, that's that's all I need. You know, and my dates, I gotta have my dates. Oh, right, the fridge, I forgot the fridge. There's my other crock pot pot. That's full of sweet potatoes, all you do is just throw them in the crock pot with like an inch of water. So water's up to there. Boom, six hours. And they're, you got slow cooked, super soft, sweet, sweet, sweet potatoes. Got a little bag of kale there. Shit. Is it still on? Damn. That was messed up. A little kale, a little lettuce. Bag of broccoli for the week. Um, got a little OJ fresh squeeze. It's a little treat. Um, got some lentils in there. Ready to go. I always got... Oh yeah, this is one I highly recommend. Chili pepper sauce from Trader Joe's. It's got no salt in it. And as far as I can tell, it's got no onions or garlic either. So... Um, it doesn't make you stink and it doesn't make you fat, but it's really stimulating, nice uh, spicy sauce. It's got like some vinegar in there. So it's good for like weaning off of like the salt and the junk food. Uh, so that's a good one. Yeah, Trader Joe's chili pepper sauce. Because salt makes you fat. I hate salt so much. I'm like, I, I usually only have salt like once or twice a week, but um... Uh, lately, like this last week, I've just been like, dude, I gotta quit salt because every time I do it, I every time I have a meal of salt and I gain weight and I get like fat and puffy and like swollen, and I just don't like that. It, ma it makes me like look bad. It makes me feel bad. So, for one tip, like I, I would give up salt. And also notice that I don't have any oil in here. Oil's not like a health food. Or it. If you're, if you're using oil in your cooking, you're eating fried food. You're frying oil in it. Just look into it. Like, I'm not going to get into a whole like, anti-oil spiel. But you don't need oil to make good, simple food. Um, it's only going to make your cooking process dirty, hard to clean up. It's going to make it, um, you know, more complicated. Just throw... See what I did here? I threw all my ingredients in a pot. I added some boiling water. And that's how you cook a healthy meal. It's gotta be simple. Don't don't fry your, your food. Just boil it or steam it. And uh, you know, that's how you keep it natural. And it keeps from adding like all, all the excess calories too. Like you get like tons of f useless fat calories when you're eating oil. Your fat should be coming from like really healthy sources like whole nuts and seeds. Stuff like the flax seeds I was showing you and whatnot. Oh, and here's a, here's the one supplement I take on a regular basis. That's a B12. So I I always have my B12. <sighs> yeah, I mean, 15 minutes just to show you my kitchen. Could have been worse. Yeah, the blender and the one pot and two crock pots, and that that's my whole uh, kitchen tools. So. What do you think I'm missing out on? What are some simple, cheap um, staples that are really healthy and nutrient-dense? What, um, what's the mainstay in your diet that you think I'm missing out on? 
that I should add in because this is all like the essentials I can't live without them gotta have them you know um, but not much else what do you think I um, I should be eating every single day um, let me know and thanks for watching everybody so I hope this uh, helps you to refine your kitchen like me when I'm eating like this I have everything I need I, I, I don't deal with any cravings at all I don't want to go out to any burrito shops or any I don't want to do anything weird with my diet as long as I got this stuff and I'm like planning ahead actually cooking meals in advance so I'm not like waiting for the food to get done like you know and I'm not in like a rush to just give it to me now you know I can eat this way every day for the rest of my life and I'll be perfectly happy and satisfied so uh, yeah yeah um let me know what kind of changes you think I should make or what I should add what's your favorite foods what's your favorite single single ingredient foods straight from the ground let me know I'd love your input and I hope this helps people to organize their diets and you know save some money get your health on the on the ball and um, you know start tackling the, that junk food addiction that we all you know have dealt with and um, yeah start saving the world you know saving the animals and stuff and uh, get the energy you need to fucking get shit done and save the planet alright thanks for watching everybody peace love vegan